Hey there everyone, my name is Mucky Shepard from the Guys of the Games. Back with some more Diablo 2 uh, Resurrected Randomized, I forgot what the name is. I always forget what the name is, because it's, I know it's the remaster, but it's not, uh, you know what I mean, it's not just remaster. Uh, yeah, summon the wolf. The wolf, the wolf. Oh, I believe it. It's been a while. I haven't done this in like a, about a weekish, give or take, something like that. But uh, yeah, we're here for Act Five. I guess I'll probably stop around. Uh, I'll probably rescue Anya, and then I'll probably just. I'll either quit there, or maybe I'll just go ahead and find like the next couple waypoints or something. I don't know. I also have to make sure to. Uh, Look around for some swords, cause I'll probably get an act. I'll probably get a barb merc, cause you know, fun times and all that jazz. And uh, you know, I can use a new one, right? There's the new one, which is kind of fun. Did I use that during the other playthrough? I don't even remember. I think I did actually. So maybe I don't know. Maybe we'll just go classic. I don't even remember what the classic one has. Does the is the classic one it's just stun and bash? I think they added something new to him. Oh, right. Nah, I always forget to do this. I've been playing Median XL so much, and uh, that game has a an auto no pickup button on it now, so that's pretty nice. Because you can just go no pickup automatically by just pressing X. It's the default bind. It's nice. I I've given... Median XL is like that game that's like... I I'm very opinionated on it, but like at the end of the day... Uh, it's a very good mod. It really is. Like, considering it's been around for so damn long, it's it's been around since like when when did it first come out? Like, uh, I don't remember when it, the very first version came out. Like, it's been around since at least 2008, because there's Median 2008. I think it came out. About, I want to say it's been out since 2006, though. Like, it's been out forever. Like, truly. It's kind of a, a miracle it's, it's still so heavily worked on if you really think about it. Like, it really is nice. It's like, man, like, there's so many... <laughs> if you really think about it, it's like, holy crap, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's still alive? Like, it's kind of nuts if you think about it. But uh, I do still have complaints about it, especially because, like, it's changed. <laughs> in, in a way, it kind of mirrors Diablo 2 itself. It's changed so much since its first release that it's like, can, you can barely even call it the same game even remotely anymore. It's so different. That's a nice jewel. That has Sacrifice on it. That's kind of fun, even though Sacrifice itself is not exactly a good skill, at least in vanilla. Do I have an Angelic? I feel like I do, yeah. I just forgot. I haven't seen any of these in a while, so I forgot, like... What's it? Like, Sacrifice is... Uh, conceptually, is like, it's cool. It's like, you know, you do damage yourself, but you do big damage. The problem is, is like, it's, it's basically just a basic... You stab the enemy and you do damage move. And it's like, okay, but there's a million of those in this game. It's like, what's the point, you know what I mean? It's one of those things that in a vacuum it's a kind of a cool skill, but it's so like boring. And there's so many of that, especially because the uh, what should I call it? The paladin has zeal, which is basically just I do regular attack, but I do it really fast. So like you pretty much always just use that if you want to do just regular melee attacks. Okay, it's kind of funny how many regular Act Five monsters are showing up right now, and there's even warped ones. Like that's hilarious. Feels like it's like on purpose or something weird. It might be because a lot of them spawn on uh, certain tiles, so they might just always be there. I love these random barb dudes just running around. It's so cool to have like just random NPCs actually like helping. Because that's definitely something that Diablo 2 could arguably use more of, although it really doesn't matter. It's more just like it's nice to see other dudes just hanging out. It's, it's just cool that they're doing stuff. It's kind of funny because, you know, like many things, 
Uh, there's a bunch of, there's like unused uh, rogue archers that in fact are basically designed to just walk around. They would have shown up in like Act 1 probably. I mean, presumably they would have shown up and just ran in spots in Act 1 and just shot stuff. And it's like, that's cool. You know, it's kind of a shame that they weren't around. The funny thing is really is that uh, that that behavior actually extends to a surprising amount of random dudes, because uh, you know in Act Three, right, you have just random Iron Wolf mercs that kind of hang around the city, right? And the funny thing is, an older version of the game that you could like, they didn't really have a limit on how far they could go, because like, they just kind of walk around town randomly, right? So they, they tend to just hang out one spot now. But they used to like have no real limit, so you, so if you could like you know either like block them or just kind of slowly wait for them, they would actually eventually leave town if you push them out. And they actually like as soon as they leave town, they would actually like attack stuff, which is like wow. It's kind of funny to think about. It. It's like how come you know it's kind of cool they can do that. It, it's weird if you think about that they can do that because it's like that means their AI is just set up to do that and it's just never used. Because they just decided, like, nah, they are not going to do that. It's, it's probably because they're just... It's, it's a basic AI, because, like, I don't think they actually have spells they can use, like, the ones you can recruit. Right? They just stab stuff with their sword. But it's like, you know, it's better than nothing. Damn, look at all these guys. I, I, I forget that I have, I have double density set up, because Act 5 is already kind of naturally dense. Like, Act 5 in Hell is, like... Gig like there's so many monsters in Act Five Hell. Just hang out. Also nice. We got a freaking exceptional unique. I hope it's good. Hey buddy, Wolfy Poo. You know, another thing I, I really do. That is one of my few big complaints. Is just redundant skills in this game. Like, it's funny to me that the Druid has two different sets of wolves. Like. And, like, dire wolves are essentially just, they're a little stronger overall, basically. Like, that's just it. They're just a little stronger overall, and you can have slightly less of them. You can have max 3 instead of max 5. It's, like, it's not even that different. Like, yeah, they can eat the corpses. That is cool. But, like, in practice, like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, how, how much of a difference does that really make? The bear is cool, because he actually has, like, you know, his bear smite. And uh, in older versions of the game, his bear smite would actually stun stuff. And, you know, like, everything in this game, it broke at some point and never got fixed. Saigons. I need the sword, right? Let's see here. 50 to life is pretty cool. This is just, like, stamina. This is, for the exception, it's kind of disappointing. Compared to this, like, this is Sanders. Look at this stupid Sanders. Look how good this dumb thing is. Disgusting. Yeah. Uh, nah. I'm at the point where I'll probably just end up having to buy a sword for him. I kind of wish I kept one, because I think I actually had a good sword at some point. I got rid of it without thinking about it. Because I'm, you know, I'm... <laughs> if you haven't noticed by now, I... Sometimes, I'm the big dumb. Unfortunately. And I can take a look in here quickly. See, stuff like this is fun. Just two different procs. If they were higher level, I'd use it. Uh... I think they... F Did they fix that quirk? The one hand thing? Or I guess I should shouldn't even say fixed it. Because technically that's intentional. It just happens to be bugged for certain characters, namely the rogue, whose bows are just treated as one-handed weapons anyways. Oh, these guys have a lot of defense, I could not hit them. Also, wow, I just picked up a lot of cool shit. Imagine that. Oh god, the dolls. The good thing is it's just normal, they're not that big a deal on normal. But yeah, they're, they're, they're a scary monster. It is really, I always think it's really funny how one of the scariest monsters in the entire game was the tiny little undead little doll thing. We call them dolls because they're 
like this type is called Stygian dolls, right? And you just kind of call them that. They're not even all called dolls. It's just one type of them is called dolls, but it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, that's the name that sticks. It's like how uh, there's the what's my call? What's the name of the Shaco unique? I don't even remember it because like it has an it has a name, but everyone just calls it Shaco because that's just. You don't care about the base item ever. You just care about the fact that if you find a unique of it, it's, you know, it's the Shaco. It's the big one, right? Shaco is like one of the best uniques in the game. But like, it isn't called Shaco. It's like, oh, it's Harlequin, Harle Harlequin Crest. It's kind of a tongue twister. Anyways, I should, yeah, make sure not to dodge it because if I don't, if I don't save these guys, right, I can't exactly hire them and. Jeez, I cannot hit. What's my chance to hit? What level am I? I'm not level 27. I am a little low, admittedly. Because I'm kind of rushing through. Like, usually you'd probably be around level 30 by now. Warped ones. It is, it's really funny to see warped ones here, though. Like, it's kind of cute. I'll just pick these up. Unfortunately, the, uh, ooh, unique ring, hell yeah, that could be good. Anyways, yeah, make sure I don't miss one, because sometimes, like, it's it's not super common, but you do tend to see one of these will have two different barbed things hanging out. Not this time, though, it looks like. Alright, let's get out of here. Just book it. Run away! But yeah, I'll probably stop around Anya. I, I might go a little further depending on, you know, what's going on. I might, like, go for another waypoint. I do always like to do that. Wow, my mouse felt really slow there for a second for some reason. I didn't actually push the button, did I? Okay, just making sure. I have a mouse sensitivity thing on my mouse, so... I can change it on the fly without having to go into settings, but... Sometimes it's a little weird. Ooh, Saigon Shield. Ooh, Static Field when struck. That's kind of cool. Man, I'll do it. Wait, do I have one? I do. The Lance. This ain't bad. That, that's a lot of minus resistance, too. Like, kind of wish I'd found that sooner. This isn't terrible, honestly. Like, what does my Merc have right now? Like, just plus the skills? Like, not a big deal. Yeah, maybe I'll keep that then. Whoops. I mean, I say that, but, uh. I don't know. I got this one, too. This one just makes him really fast. Hey, I got this one, too. Right, I forgot. Look at this. That'd be good on him. In fact, since I'm definitely going to go for a barb mark, I might as well just get rid of this. Did I get the tower shield? Or Saigon shield? Wait, is that the Saigon's thing I'm missing? I thought Saigon's had a sword. I totally forgot it's just this. Why, I don't have enough strength for this? This is only level 14. That's wild that it's so much. Anyways, let's see Mantle Room here. Uh, this one generally looks a little worse. Yeah. Unfortunately, but, you know, what can you do? Except make fat cash by selling these uh, wands. With that easy max money. Truly. We live in a society. <laughs> That's such a dumb thing to say, but felt right. And I uh, stand by what I said. What do I have in my backup? Nothing. I, say, I might as well put this in my backup then. Uh, key to, key. Oh yeah, I can. I have a skill point, don't I? 
should I pop a point into? Um. Hmm. Uh, never even thought about, it, but putting points in this is kind of like if I have Oak Sage, like kind of a waste. Because I'm getting light from Oak Sage anyways. It's the same amount, except everyone gets that. Honestly, this has been always one of my pet peeves: is that like the differences between Werewolf and Werebear don't feel quite substantial enough, like. Werebear has more life, but since Lycanthropy gives so much life anyways, this is where you get most of your life anyways, so it doesn't make much of a difference there. And it's basically like, the damage in defense is nice, but because of the ways that scales, the attack speed you get from this is a way bigger deal. And with how high defense can be on certain enemies, you really do want that attack. Like, I'm using Bear, but it's like, I probably would be better off using Wolf. I'm just using Bear, because like, why not? Like, ultimately, it's not that big a deal, and that's also kind of my problem, is that, like like I said, right, the actual differences between these two is not that big. It's basically just, do you want a better attack rating and attack speed, or damage and defense? Like, they could use a good, like, extra stat, you know what I mean? Like, I think, like, it'd be cool to have something, something specific to each one that's, like, special to them, like... You know, maybe the bear has crushing blow and the wolf has, like, open wounds or something, you know what I mean? Just something like that, but... Eh. I don't know. Because, like, ultimately, it's just, like, well, the main thing that matters with them is the skills. But then, like, two of your three skills you overlap anyways. Or I guess not two of your three skills, but just the claws and hunger. Oh, well. Once again, I'm kind of just nitpicking. It's kind of funny that it's the Dark Shamans with uh, Warped Ones. Is that like usually a thing? Have I not noticed that the monster gr groups have had different bosses? Or like leaders or whatever you want to call them? Is that actually in the base game and you just don't really see it because Warped Ones don't really spawn anywhere anymore? Who knows? Ah, the demon ends. The, the, the ends are kind of a... They're pretty weak, honestly. But, like, they're kind of, they're a really fun enemy. Because, like... Uh, they're, like, fairly complex. Like, they're the only enemy in the game that has... That has actually, like, two different, like, monster stats set up for them. Or essentially, like, they need two different, like... Like, uh... Lines of, like... In an Excel sheet, I should say. Like, you know what I mean? Like... All the like, if, I've already mentioned this, but like, most of the stuff in this game is just in Excel sheets, basically, spreadsheets. So, imps need two different lines for uh, them to function properly because they have so much stuff that uh, they actually need two different lines to get all their parameters set up, right? Because by default, every monster can have up to eight parameters to affect their AI, and imps are the only one that needs more than that. Because, like, they can do, like, a bunch of things, right? Because they have several different spells they can use, right? They can shoot fireballs, they can shoot charge bolts at you, they can teleport, they can jump on top of the siege beasts, can jump on top of the towers. They have a lot of things they can do. So, like, they, they, just, they just need it. It's just kind of funny that it's, like... Uh, it's, you know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's, like, sometimes the best solution is to just say whatever and just cheat, you know what I mean? Just make it read two different fields, you know? No big deal. Gah! Get me out of there. Alright, uh, I guess I'll look for the waypoints. Ooh, we got slingers. Is this a... This looks like it's going up, but it's always hard to tell until you see the wall. Looks like it's going up, though. Well, we'll see if I find the waypoint. I might not really care, because, like, I'll just get one of the ones inside the caves. Just stop moving every once in a while so my wolves don't die. Because that's, like, the easiest way for you to lose your pets is to just kind of never give them a chance to teleport to you, which will happen if you just kind of keep moving. 
If you stop moving for like even just a second every once in a while, it actually tends to not really happen. Oh, yeah, it's Soleil. Dude. It, it is kind of funny how like even in this randomizer, it's still just mostly act five monsters, which is kind of nice. I always feel like like one of the like the the guest monster thing they have going in Hell and Nightmare is cool. But it does also mean that the default monsters in Act 5 tend to kind of get overshadowed a bit. Because a lot of the scariest monsters are fine in Act 5 and Nightmare in Hell are not, you know, the native monsters, right? It'll be souls, dolls, and the like. And a lot of, like, the, the rogues especially, because the rogue, the, all the different rogues get, like, special skills and as, as guest monsters. So they end up being pretty scary, because they'll have, like, Exploding Arrow, they'll have Jab. They can mess you up pretty bad. And everyone knows about the Viper, like the Claw Vipers. Ooh, wow. Bunch of new shit. Let's go. Claw Vipers get uh, access to, like, projectiles as guest monsters because they have just, like, a brand new AI, which is kind of cool. I forget if they can still charge. I don't even remember. Whoops, I just... <laughs> I could not see Kane because it night. Let's see. This is okay. The all it's like very defensive actually. Shark skin gloves. That's a ton of defense, but that's about it basically. If I was a assassin, I probably would use that though. But like, same thing here. Like the fifty resistance is. Magic damage reduced by 18 is actually a ton. Like, especially in normal, where, like, most magic is generally only doing, like, at most, like, 50 damage to me, right? Only, like, the strongest attacks will be doing more than that. So that's, like, huge chunk taken out of that. And I'm, I am technically not using it. The cleansing aura is nice, but ultimately what it just is helpful for, like, uh, poison and curses. So it's not that big a deal to get rid of this. Actually... Honestly, I might swap. This gives me mana steel, though. Do I have anything else for mana steel? I have life steel. Uh... Oh, I have one to mana after each kill, which actually kind of mostly does the job. My skills don't cost a lot of mana, right? It's like what? Four for Fire Claws, and then I think for whatchamacallit, it's like some tiny amount. Plus, I got Damage Taken Goes to Mana, which is pretty nice. Damage Taken Goes to Mana is one of those affixes that would be really nice in vanilla if it scaled at all, but. Oh, I have Mana Steel on the thing. Well, then, you know what? Fuck it. Like, that's just, like, easy max resistances. I think I don't need it, even, but, like... Oh, I do actually get some benefit out of it. Because the cleansing oil is not that useful. I guess it does help my... Like, if nothing else, it helps my, uh, minions. Anyways, we can finally go get our Barp Merc. Why not? Let me just, uh... Take it off of you. Alright, Flux. You've done good. Bash stun and oh right they got battle cry battle cry is nice. It's a debuff. Do I have any debuffs on me actually right now? Cause I have fanaticism. I have amp technically, but I'm not using that. Uh. Ooh. I have no curses on me at the moment. So I could use that. I can also go with uh, the Frenzy one. Although, honestly, the Frenzy one is not that big a deal. I feel like Battle Cry is really handy. Especially since they buffed it to scale. I think it used to be always 2550 to the top of my head. I don't think it was ever, like, mm, like, I don't think it ever scaled. Alright, well, 
Regardless, uh, IP. What are these names? I like Wolfstan. Sure. And, uh, hmm. Let's see if we got anything good for him. Oh, yeah, this. I don't, I'm not even high enough level to use that yet, though. I forgot how low I am. Because you can't use this, and this is crap. I can at least give him the circlet and armor for now. I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. I'll help him out a little bit. You know, fun fact, the bar mercs used to get bonus poison damage, or po used to have bonus poison resistance. And, you know, big surprise, like everything else, at some point that got broken and it doesn't, like, they don't actually, like, take, get stats anymore from that. Because basically the way it was done is that, uh, in monster stats, they just have extra 70% poison resist. And for some reason, you know, at some point, like I said, it just broke and they don't get that anymore. It's still there, and you can, like, see it, but, like, it just doesn't do anything anymore. Which, uh, definitely suggests that it's probably not intentional, but, like, you know, what are you going to do, you know what I mean? If it don't work, it don't work. Uh, oh, whip a Do I have any sockets? I forget about the, the, the socket recipe, but I always forget what it is. It's fine, whatever. Right now his damage kind of sucks, though, because he's doesn't got a good weapon. Should I... See if I can't get something decent on him? Surely I can shop something good. It needs to be a one-hander, because otherwise it sucks. There you go. I think given that most of his elemental damage, I don't think it really matters, but like, you know. I'll put that to good use. You know, whatever, he bashes and stuns stuff, it's good. That's how bad for a magic. Cause like what's on the circlet? Like it's plus to skills, some life, decent amount of defense, and then just some resistances. It's like it's kind of hard to beat that. Circlets are always like really strong, just because they get bonus magic level or whatever you want to call it. Cause uh, you know, if you don't know, uh, how wow, increase max life. How like a f good the affixes on an item can be is based on the item level, right? You, know, you can see it here, right? 32 and whatnot. But, uh, there's a couple items in the game. The circlet's like the major one, where their item level is essentially treated as much higher. Or, uh, is it. I forget what that's called. There, there's, a, there's technically two different values there's like item level and there's like quality level. I think there might even be a thing called magic level. I don't I think that might just be quality level. It's like. Uh, a thing, basically... Oh, yeah, right, I forgot I had this. This is good on him. And as for you, uh, I can probably sell you. So there's a, an invisible thing you can never see called... Uh, quality level. And usually item level and quality level are the same, I think. Until you start cubing stuff, and then I think that can change. I, I actually have no idea. That's like one of the more like, uh, I don't know if obtuse is the right word, but it's definitely like one of like the aspects of the game that's like, I like I don't even bother. <laughs> I don't even bother caring about it because it's just like, it's too many numbers and ultimately it just means kill stuff anyways. So like, what does it matter? Don't worry about it. At your service. Let's see if I get anything else. I'm tired. Hmm. Whatever, it's fine. Alright, the whole Mala thing. 
Neil Thike has stuff to say about that, but like, he disappears the second you walk into Aria Plateau, so uh, you don't tend to hear a bunch of it. He even has like return dialogue, but like, you basically have to just like, as soon as you rescue the barbs, uh, you have to just like go to town, leave, come back, and then talk to him again. It's like it's funny. He really likes to just ditch. There is a matter to which I blah blah blah. I don't remember what she says. <laughs> Damn, look at all these Act 5 monsters. I appreciate it. I, I do like the Act 5 monsters. They're cool. I don't have a teleport, do I? I wish. Ooh, man, that hiccup, like, took it out of me. Hey, got the shield. Let's go. Burning dead archers. Hey, it's a cow. He's dead. <laughs> no. And how iconic is this stupid cow level? Like, it's kind of wild to think that, like, uh, they, they, like, made jokes about it for years, and then they actually put in a cow level in this game and it's actually like pr like like everyone knows about it now but like imagine cute knowing to cube uh wart's leg with a tome of town portal in act one's town specifically too like how many people thought like i wonder if anyone would figure that out naturally you know what i mean jeez get out of here I gotta make sure to pick all this stuff up because any of these swords could be a lot better than what he has currently. Once I find a good sword, I'll probably just stop picking stuff up for a while if it's not like a unique. And it's just good to do it now because like his items are kind of lacking. Because uh, the one advantage the Iron Wolf has over the physical mercs is that since all of his spells or determines his damage, uh, he doesn't need. Uh, like items to do a lot of damage at least right away not until he gets to hell or at least in like nightmare i have a tangrids the ward it can our target defense is actually quite nice that's a ton of mana but what i have is definitely better that'd be good for like a caster though i guess or like maybe like eh, yeah i guess a caster it's kind of what vanilla used to do, classic Diablo 2, where like a lot of uh, like magic caster type weapons, like wants of, could spawn with ignore like, target defense because it would help you like whack stuff if you're out of mana. Back when that was actually a kind of a concern, nowadays it is very much not a concern because like you're never gonna run out of mana because you can just buy your your potions. But you know that used to actually be a thing. Uh, sure. Actually, let me check something. I'll put that to good use. I wonder if this shows properly. I'll put that to good use. It does look like it does. I'll put that to good use. So I think this is doing more damage. And it's faster, too. It's very fast, so... We'll, we'll keep that on him. I'm glad they added a quick menuing options like this. Like, that's really nice. Ability to just quickly go through. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll keep picking. <laughs> How many times do I have to hit the X? Sometimes the game is real finicky about that. You have to click and like let go while you're on the button. If I click and let go of the button afterwards before or like I hover off of it before I let go it just doesn't count oh god she has shields there's so many little aspects of this game that really punish you for being a melee attacker right? I feel like shield block is actually deceptively a big one because like especially once you get into like hell monsters with shields tend to have like pretty high block chance and like there's nothing you can do about it right if you do physical damage at all you can block 
So the only way you would ever be able to melee attack these guys and then not get blocked by them is if you did literally 100% elemental damage. If you do even one point of damage that is physical, they can block the entire attack. It's like, it would have to be something that completely converts all your damage to elemental. Like, maybe Vengeance, Paladin's Vengeance works, because I don't think that adds. I think that converts all your damage. But don't quote me on that one, because I'm actually not sure. That actually might just add it on top. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So, in this area, all the destinations tend to be in the corners. Sometimes they can be in, like, away from the corner, but they're almost always, like, if they're not in the, the corners, they're, like, close to it. So, you basically just check all the corners, and, then, like, this looks like the waypoint up here. Like, usually if it curves, op like, backward like that, that's gonna be the waypoint, yeah. What? There's a delay when you activate the waypoints? Come on. Even, like, Diablo 2 Vanilla doesn't even have that. Legacy Diablo 2 doesn't have that. There's so many weird extra loading times in this. It's, it kind of bugged me. Ugh. Honestly, the requirements minus 50% is actually, like, like, a big enough deal that that would actually matter. Holy moly! See, this would be a great weapon to have on the swap for a mage, to just quickly whack something. You have a 100% chance of open wounds? Like, actually, thinking about it, I have this because it has the crushing blow. I might actually do this, because, like, a 100% chance of open wounds? Like, why not? I don't need anything else. Ooh, nice. This has all resistance is 10, but it also has, like, a bunch of extra stuff. This has 101 lightning damage, but this has, uh, that's 1 to 101, right? Yeah, so on average I'm doing 50 damage. This is pretty much the same thing, but I get extra damage, and it has, like, life and still has the resistances, and it has the poison. A little bit of extra poison damage, which, you know, how that works, that means that for 4 seconds they don't regenerate when I hit them. And it has more slots, so, like, you know what? Boom. Look at that. What's he got? Oh, you're right. I uh, see. I'm used to playing medium, where you can give them everything except rings. What in the world do you mean you can't complete that request? What? What? Huh? What's going on? I can repair this? I can't repair this belt. If I leave town and come back, does that fix it? What the f- What is going on? I've never seen this before. I can't fix my belt? It's not ethereal, is it? What? What is going on? Uh, oh, I never used my skill point, did I? I just kind of like talked about it and then didn't pick anything. I guess I'll upgrade my Oak Sage. I can't repair my belt. I can fill the belt slots. What if I transform and then transform back? Maybe that's some weird thing. In all my years of playing this game, I've never seen this. I have no idea what the hell is broken, but I can't repair my belt, apparently. And uh, that's that makes a lot of sense, you know? I'm going to go do the Crystal Passage stuff first. I don't know if I'll do Anya right after, or if maybe I'll even go a little further. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, Rune Scepter, sure. 
the sorceress's class items don't sell for very much. I, I guess to be fair, none of the class items really have a ton of sell value. It's mainly just the like not oh like the the original ones do like staffs and uh, wands and stuff, but like the glowing orbs and stuff don't generally sell for much. I should stay in the spot. I love these stupid frozen arms. I love that you kill them and they always shatter. So it's, it's a cute little touch. Like they're literally like frost ice creatures, like to the fullest extent that that's like a thing. Let's resummon you. It's 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 always funny that it's like the, as soon as you get a skill shrine, it's like time to resummon all my stuff because that's like honestly a huge benefit. Like it's a, it's a cool little quirk of the skill system. And like I honestly I'm glad that it's like that. Even if you might argue it's a little unintuitive that you can do that, but everything all your summons and like buffs and stuff, everything that you can cast is always like the level of it is always based on like the time of casting. So like you know my minions that I summon, right? How strong they are is based on what my skill level is when I summon them. It doesn't. If my skill level goes down, it does not matter. As long as they don't die, they keep that full bonus. And since the uh, druid summons uh, act as like proper synergy skills and not just like whatchamacallitters, I get like double dipping essentially from like I wonder how much life they have. I can't see because I lost my skill shrine upon getting cursed, which is why I'm kind of glad I did that before I went any further. Ice and hearts. Oh, hey, another fanaticism aura. This is more practical because it has the attack rating, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's kind of funny how good this stupid wand is. They can't use maces, right? I can't use that. Yeah. Figure it was worth checking. I always forget if they ever change anything. Battle branch. That was a whirlwinder, maybe. Whirlwind is pretty fun. So can I still not fix my belt? Absolutely insane. I wonder why. What what's broken with this? I'm I'm almost scared to like reset my game and then like it'll tell me my character is fucking like bugged. Uh should I go for the next waypoint in the ancients or whatever? Eh. Let's nah. Let's go rescue Anya. Get that resistance. This is another one of those areas that like there's a bunch of different like layouts, but they almost always tend to be just kind of a loop where the entrance is pretty close to where Anya is, but it is just a wall between her and you. And sometimes it's like it craps around on itself enough that if you have teleport, you can skip like most of this area. But uh, there's not really any. I don't really mind killing stuff. I am kind of low level, so. Definitely helps. Who has fanaticism? Or, uh, whatchamacallit? Someone has vigor. Is that me? Wait, did she spawn with vigor on her armor? Or am I crazy? Or I keep saying vigor. I think that's redemption, right? Did she get redemption? Must be, because it's, it's circling on her and nothing else, so yeah. She spawned with redemption. That's kind of cool. She spawned with something that basically makes her immortal now. Because, like, she already has a shit ton of life, and now she has a shit ton of life, and she heals whenever I kill something. That's badass. Sometimes this game has funny accidents that are just, like, really cool. I mean, I say that like this is vanilla at all. Like, yeah, no, it's a big surprise. This will never happen. It's it's kind of funny to think like, yeah, in vanilla, she'll never spawn with her own aura, obviously. But you know, if you play Ma, that can happen. That's kind of cool. Of course, another thing about that 
could potentially be kind of scary. I wonder how the old summon a monster thing works, like that old bug. Because uh, at some like in older versions of the game, I'm actually I don't know if this ever even got fixed properly, or if they just like hard coded it to just not work or some weird thing. Where like basically in older versions of the game, uh, when anything if anything that you summoned summoned their own minion the game would crash because it isn't set up to work like that basically right minions can't have their own minions that's not how the game works and it would just crash pretty much instantly i think but uh, i think they fixed it by just hard coding it to essentially just say if a minion tries to spot any minion they just don't And uh, I think that applies to the uh, assassin too, because I heard like the assassin's little like shadow master, shadow warrior uh, lassies kind of do the same thing, where they can technically it's in their AI script to try to spawn uh, like they can summon their own shadow masters, but they're just like hard coded not to essentially. Because, like, honestly, like, it's the easiest way to just make it fixed. Is just say, fuck it, you cannot do that. You're just not allowed to. And it's kind of funny, because, like, in the case of the Shadow Warriors and the Shadow Master, it's hard-coded in the sense that it just, like, it's, like, that specific instance of the Shadow Warrior and Shadow Master won't do that. It's, like, if you clone the skill and put it on a different line in the the skill document it'll they will try to spawn it and crash the game so that's snake neelathok oh neelathok you can say that neelathok like idea is like he just wanted to protect him but it's like even in that context like it seems so short-sighted if you really think about it it's like okay so you're gonna let Bale basically just destroy the world and he's just gonna let you guys in particular not die like yeah right uh, and these are good gloves Fifty percent better chance of magic. Wow, it's <gasps> pretty good. Is this again? What's that from? Is that from Muppets? Why is that? It's popping in my head. It's from Muppets. That uh, dude who just goes, nah, 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 nah. I don't know if he does it like that though. Oh wait, didn't I have the Eisenhower's helmet at some point? You know what? Fuck it. I don't. Need, I don't need these. Get rid of them. I hate you. I hate you, Eisenhower's. Burn in hell. I can't fix my belt. I don't get it. What a bizarre circumstance. Alright, so... Let's see what the total set bonus is. Zygon's like one of the hardest sets to complete because, uh... Well, you know why. Uh... I guess I'll pop some points into, uh... Fire Cloud. Why not? Just a little more elemental damage. Alright, so... I actually can't use this because I don't have enough strength. They have a lot of faster hit recovery though. Magic find. Inner sight charges, resistances, and increased attack speed. This isn't terrible, but I was, I'm kind of sad I can't use the shield now. That kind of defeats the whole purpose. Do I have anything that gives me some extra strength just for a second? Uh, 
Like anything. I, I promise you, just anything. Here. Freaking six is tank, whatever. 50% chance to open wounds, static field, big damage, lifesteal is nice. Like, this is nice. I mean, it does have cannot be frozen, honestly. Like, this is kind of nice. It's just like, oh. I think the problem is, like, look how much slower I move now. Dude, I'll never get rid of Sanders. It's too good. So much of my damage is elemental anyways. That, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't need the extra stuff as much anyways. And I lose my Valkyrie. Like, like there's a lot of things I miss out on if I change to this. So, like, there's no point. Uh, there. Should I just sell this? I saw what the bonus was. It's good, but not better than what I have. So, like, yeah. Take up freaking six slots in my stupid inventory. I cannot complete the request. I don't get it. You can't fix my belts. Like, I don't. I, I actually do not get it. Why that's like broken. Like, that's so weird. Plus 50 lightning damage and dexterity. Is that the thing I was thinking of? There must be, yeah, there's this one which has 50 lightning damage and resistances. It's kind of funny how many lightning damage there is. I wonder if it's like a setup or something. Uh, regardless, uh, I think I will... Uh, find the next waypoint and then we'll call it there I wonder how hard the ancients are gonna be so the difficulty of the ancients is pretty heavily based on how lucky you get a normal difficulty doesn't matter too much but once you get to like hell especially because like if you get a group of ancients that are just immune to your attacks it's like well you're kind of SOL Alright, so we'll either, I'm just going to run through, honestly, and, like, if I find the waypoint here, we'll grab that one. If not, then, ooh, minions, die. Like, like I said, yeah, if we find the waypoint, we'll grab that, but otherwise, I'll just go to the Ancients. Or like, the specifically Ancients tunnel, you know what I mean? Like, the, the cave after this. And if that works out... No, yeah, we'll do that, but otherwise, like, I don't know. We'll see. Next waypoint I find, basically. I'm hoping to find this one quickly. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Like, even this late in, you can still occasionally find the barbs just running around. There's not as many as the thing. They're a lot rarer in this area, so you usually only see, like, a couple, but, yeah, they're there. Rather than nothing, right? So, they're. They're really tanky because they're just monsters, essentially. The same... Like, they spawn in... They don't spawn in the same way that monsters do. They spawn in on specific tiles. And then there's just, like, a chance that they can show up when they do spawn on those tiles. Is the thing, right? Just like with any monster. It's not a 100% chance they show up. Which is why they can be so rare. Because they're... I think their chance of spawning is pretty low. So, you don't usually see them. At least in this area. I should probably uh, continue to pick up swords. Because never if I know if I'm going to find something good, right? It does not look like I'm going to find the waypoint, though. Because I'm already pretty far in here. Oh, well, speak of the devil. I think we'll call it quits there, then. Let me just ID all my stuff. It's like 1 o'clock for me, so it's a good time to go to bed anyways. Yeah, more Saigons. Big whoop. The Spine of Lazarus! I found two Saigons guy. That's funny. 
Erathra's coil. Nice. Still can't believe I can't fix my belt. Like, what the hell? I assume that this is not as good. Because this will have, like, the cold damage and lightning damage and the attack speed and whatnot. Zip, zap, boop, boop, boop. Yep. Not really an option. This has actually faster roadblock on it. <sighs> I know, presumably I can fix this. <laughs> I don't get it. Huh. Okay, where's my Rathra stuff? It's in somewhere around here. Yeah, I have the coil and the thing. So let's quickly check to see what my set bonus is even are from this. I can blind targets, twister. Life steal. It's not terrible. But uh, I miss out on the slots, so. I kinda want those potions, you know what I mean? I mean, I was thinking about stun this, but like, why bother? So the record resists. Once you're over max, it doesn't usually matter to get more resist, but it can be nice for certain areas. Because every once in a while you'll fight a monster that can actually reduce your resistances, and then uh, if that happens, the excess stackage actually like helps protect against that, right? If I have 100% fire res, and somebody reduces my fire res by 25%, I would still have max fire res, because the extra stacking keeps me above, or like keeps me at 75, right? Which is... Not super relevant in this game, but it does come up still. Like, I think the Harpies can reduce your resistances, so... It can be nice for that. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for today. I guess I'll refresh my keys. This model is apparently a bit of a kleptomaniac. I'm gonna just buy a couple of random scrolls just to fill up the belt, the little, fill up the book. The book! You have found the book! Oops, I did not just mean to do that. I accidentally right clicked as fuck. I, my stupid finger does it all the time. You know. <laughs> God. It's fine. Didn't waste that much money. I have plenty, anyways. Uh, yeah, that'll be it for this part. See you guys later.